Well, it's, it's been announced now. Mate, it's fucking outrageous. I got really, well, not really, but I did get quite emotional watching it. And Liam is at his absolute peak. Look great, great air, great clothes. Sound is amazing. But actually, standing back and watching it, I was like, you know, we were unbelievable. We could really, really play. And I was like, is that me playing the guitar? Because my guitar playing suffered a bit because now I'm just singing and strumming. I was on fire that fucking night. I think that's the only thing missing from Oasis' back catalogue, really, is live stuff. You're just so good live. And there's so yeah, many yeah, iconic yeah. gigs going right up to Argentina in 2009, which yeah. is an amazing gig as well. Yeah. You should start putting that stuff out. We never, we, we never, we never lost the ability to do it live. And, but honestly, when, because they're interviewing fans at the time, right? Right. And they've tracked those fans down now who were all in their 50s and have all got kids. And the crowd is really young. So there's no one there for nostalgic reasons. You're all in, it's like, it's your time. Now, there's one guy who, I mean, I almost fucking choked up because he was saying, you know, me and my brother were there and we could just see these two brothers. And there's a bit where we're just about on stage. I'm playing a guitar solo brilliantly and Liam's trying to trip me up. In the biggest gig of our lives, right? Biggest gig of all time at that time. And he's pinching me ass, and I'm kind of never dropped a fucking note. Unbelievable. But this guy's saying, you know, and I see the two brothers, and they were like me and my brother. And of course, his brother's dead now and all that. And he's kind of going on, and it, and it really is kind of tugs at the heartstrings. But it's very real, your story. And even right up now, you know, all of your songs have this sense of realness to them. Um, and I think you will always have that. Well, they have, you know what? All the songs that had words, that had lyrics, they were all inclusive. It was all about us and they were all about we. Mm. And that's what, I, that's what I took from Acid House was like, this is not an elitist thing. These, these songs are about us. And that's what has stood the test of time with the music because it's not that you can't tie the sentiment of the songs to a particular, particular era. Well, it's about unity. And yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the anthems. Yeah, yeah. And they, and they mean as much today as they did then to a new generation of kids and i'd like to say i was clever enough to foresee that but it wasn't you know it was just coming from somewhere that was pure and wasn't thought out and i guess it'll never die now um but yeah the the documentary is really really great really great. i'm so glad and we the did gigs it. are coming out as well on streaming then and, the, uh, and well it's going to be in the cinema <clears throat> It's going to get, hopefully, people will be, I think people will be back in cinemas then. So it's going to be in the cinema, but then you'll be able to get <clears> the, <throat> the, the separate gigs. Amazing. We've got to wrap up now. I could talk to you for like all day. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, you've got so many stories about so many great songs. Back the way we came, volume one is out now. Thank you very much.